Hey, let's try it again. Word up, word up. Hey, great to be with you again. And it's week two of Word Up 2019. Now, wasn't week one quite fantastic? I think that word underestimated a little bit. It was very engrossing that week. Now, what did I like most? I liked all the thousands and thousands of words that you collected. You were amazing with your doodle books. Doodle books? Yeah, the doodle books. And you flipped over the back of the book and I found 160 words in one of those books. Now, so many children went hunting and collecting for words. I was so proud of you. What an adventurous week. Word up, word up. What have I got for you? It's the brand new badge from the Do It Dude. Fantastic. Word up, word up. Hope you enjoy getting it. So what do you have to do? Just be fantastic at word up. In your reading and your writing, push yourself. Put heart and soul into it. Yeah, the do it do. Word up, word up. Hey guys, do it do. Can we do it again? Word up, word up. Now, word up this year, I'm going to try and tell you quite a few things about how to actually word up. Now, the first thing of all is this collect. You are so good at collecting words. Now, I have a few I collected earlier from the word bins around school. You really enjoy that, don't you? Sunny, glisten, blissful, lolling and ripple. Really, really adventurous words there. Now with many of our words, we know straight away their meaning, such as sunny. Imagine a sunny and beautiful sky. But one or two of these other words are really adventurous, but sometimes we don't quite know their meaning. So, I've got something to help you. Whenever you select and collect your words, you need to make sure you activate the words. So that means that when you've got a difficult word, you need to find out the meaning. How do you find out the meaning? Well, word up, word up. You could ask an adult. You could look in a dictionary. Or you could look on this. It's Kiddle. Google for kids. How about that? Have a little look, guys. DJ Word, the word mixer. DJ Word, the word mixer. Now, what have I got for you guys? Have a look at this. Close up, guys. Close up. Do it, dude's got badges. So has the DJ Word. Blah, blah, blah. How's it go, guys? Blah, blah, blah. One more time. Blah, blah, blah. Hi, guys. Do it, do it again. There's a third step for this. Now, you've got to make sure your words are secure. Now, when they're secure, it means we can use them in sentences. We can say a sentence and we can also write a sentence. Now, in a minute, I'm going to show you a little bit about how I can use those wonderful words, ripple, glistening, sunny, in a really fun way. I kind of explored them. Yes, I've got a piece of paper like this with those wonderful things happening. I just scribbled all over them. I could picture those words. And then I had a go at saying my favorite sentence using those words. So I'm off there now to have a go. You watch the next part of this film, guys. Our faces glistened in the morning sunshine. The sea was like a rippling blanket of blue. It felt blissful lolling once again on the warm, dry sand. Hey guys, do it, dude. That's nearly all for this week. So let's just go over it again. How to word up. Collect your words, find them and say them. Activate your words. Now don't forget that this week. Explore them and find their meanings. And the last thing is to store. Store those words. Say them in a sentence and then use them. Hey, one last thing. I'm really excited about this. It's all happening from Friday. Love talk and talk love happens, starts on Friday for five days. Word up, word up. <laughs> 